beautiful sunny Arizona. So I woke up today uh, in Parker, Arizona. Drove up here to Lake Havasu City and uh, it's beautiful to be by the water again. Really nice. But definitely a lot of people around. A lot of uh, campers, boondockers. So I'm going to get some supplies, go find my spot in the desert and uh, be able to relax here for a little bit. But I'm definitely looking forward to exploring the lake if I can. Uh, might have to get a new inflatable raft because I popped my last, last one that I had. So we'll see. It's going to be about 80 degrees today, December 5th. Beautiful weather. Good kitty. Okay, I ran around all day and did kind of a town thing after visiting the lake and, uh, or rather the river, mighty Colorado. And now I pulled in here at a spot called Craggy Wash. I'm glad to have kind of gotten enough supplies that I can just come out here, get a spot, hang out. I'm really looking forward to just having some peace and quiet and making some artwork. But this place is pretty cool. You gotta go off the beaten path a little bit back here in the wash, but there's a lot of really nice rock features to look at and you can scramble on. Overall, feeling pretty, uh, pretty stoked to be here. This is like the most beautiful day that I've had down here yet. We're about like 80 degrees and it's sunny all day. Um, can't really beat that. And I'm hoping that just being here and being active, getting my steps in, doing some workouts, definitely help me be motivated to just kind of make the most of my time down here. Bummer. People leaving trash, that's the worst. All right, decided on my spot. It's right up here, let's see if I can do it. Bus is climbing it, no problem, Bob. Boom. And after that nice steep bit, there's just enough flat for one bus. Oh yeah. All right, I repositioned a little bit so that I could get level and have a little bit of room right here and have some space to myself so check this spot out oh yes how epic hey meow meow you want to take a look around let's do it Come here. Come here, little captain. Come Let's put this on so you don't get run off by coyotes. Hold still. Oh, there we go. Good girl. Yeah. The cat's favorite thing to do. Check out a new spot.
Oh, what a beautiful morning in the canyon. The sun's upon me now and it's just like warm and amazing. I did find a bit of a problem though. And uh, for people who are in bus life, you know, it's one of the worst. I was <laughs> getting my boots out last night and noticed they were wet. Turns out <clears throat> a radiator on the inside is leaking. So this is coolant. Uh, while I was driving along, the pressure of it started to leak, it leaks to the inside and has now probably done damage to my kitchen and subfloor, all kinds of shit. So I'll be rebuilding all of it, getting it fixed up. But for right now, I got to get you know, the cat hair out of here and then uh, see what's leaking. With any luck, it's just the hose clamp. But if it's from the actual radiator core itself, I got a big problem. So here goes nothing. Okay, I got it cleaned up in here and uh, it seems like the radiator is dry. Oh, wait, no. So I got to now inspect and see if this core is leaking. And if it is, I've got a bigger problem, but if it's just down here, then it should be able to be fixed up, so. Definitely dirty in there, but this is how it heats the bus. And I think we may be in luck. Loose hose clamp. Um, I think I'm also gonna grab another hose clamp to put on there so it's doubled up, and that way I've got twice as much protection. So this panel goes back there to cover everything up, but I'll leave it off for a little while, let things dry, and uh, to double check that this stays dry. So everything is still looking pretty good, and after a little while, I'll know if there's still some, some seepage or not. So it's, I think that's a success. So with my coolant leak all fixed up, I was able to just hang out in the beautiful weather, enjoy the sunsets, and all the little nomad community going on. There's quite a few people who are staying down here, but I've got a little spot to myself, which just allows me to hang out with the kitty and make some of my creative copper artwork. This last piece I'm really excited about, so here, check it out. I'm Sam and I make these copper wire trees out of reclaimed electrical wire. And this special little grove is going to my dear friend and friend Brandon. Each piece is unique and different in its own way. So if you're interested in something for yourself, check out samdussel.com. Bus life hack number 299. After driving for a little while, the hood of the bus will be nice and warm, and it's a good place to sit and watch the sunset. Oh. Hey, where you going, buddy? Where you going? Are you a road runner? What are you? What are you? Well, you like to pose like a pretty bird. So just like that roadrunner, I'm going to continue exploring around, running the roads, and finding some really cool things. Be sure and tune in for the next episode where I find some awesome rocks and some ancient Native American integlios. If you don't know what that is, be sure and tune in so you can find out all about it. Thanks for watching.